131, welcome to example five. So now we are being asked to write the first eight terms of a sequence defined by this recursive formula. And you can see here that they didn't just give us the first term, they gave us the first three terms, all right? So the first three terms are given in this problem. So this is gonna be a more intense recursive formula. And you can see it's saying for any term where n is greater than or equal to four, this is the formula we're going to use. So we still need to find a sub four, a sub five, a sub six, a sub seven, and a sub eight. So these are the numbers we're still looking for, or I should say these are the terms that we're still looking for, because we have a one through three. All right, so let's make this work. So it says if n is greater than or equal to four, and I do want n to be equal to four, because I want to start this process. This says it should be the ratio of a sub n minus one to a sub n minus two plus a sub n minus three. Now let's see what each of those subscripts turn into, because that's what happens with recursive formulas. It's the subscripts that are changing out. So as I start to simplify this, this looks like it's going to be a sub three, because four minus one is three, in ratio to a sub two plus a sub one. And actually, let me just scooch this down a little bit. It's a little too close to this. I wanna just give myself some breathing room. Okay, so as we go through this again, let me, let me give myself a little separator. There we go. So a sub four would be equal to a sub four minus one over a sub four minus two plus a sub four minus three. All right, let's see what this simplified to. So again, the numerator, a sub three, the denominator here, a sub two, this last term that I'm adding, a sub one. And I was given those numbers, so let's see what we have. a sub three is one, a sub two is one, and a sub one is zero. So this term is equal to one. So I'm gonna keep track of that. I know a sub four is equal to one. All right, and I need to work up to a sub eight. So let's see if we can figure out the next term. So let's do a sub five. All right, again, five is greater than or equal to four, so I'm going to use this formula. This says we should be looking at a sub five minus one in ratio to a sub five minus two, and then we have to add to it a sub five minus three. So let's see what this simplifies to. This will be a sub four over a sub three plus a sub two. So you see a sub five, it's defined in, in terms of the previous terms, right? Same deal with a sub four, defined in terms of previous terms. All right, let's substitute. We found a sub four, that was one. A sub three was also one. And a sub two was also one. So I have one over one plus one, that's going to be equal to two. So a sub five is equal to two. Okay, great. I'm gonna keep on going. All right, I'm gonna scooch this up a bit just so we can get, I'll keep that formula in view and we'll try and get a sub six. I might run out of space. I might not be able to keep this in view the entire time. But let's see what we got. a sub six would be a sub six minus one in ratio to a sub six minus two plus a sub six minus three. And let's see what this turns into. The subscripts become a sub five over a sub four plus a sub three. All right, a sub five was two, a sub four was one, and a sub three, even though it's out of sight, it was up here, it was defined to be one. So two over one plus one is three. So at this point I know a sub six is equal to three. Let me just erase this a bit. It looks like a pretty silly plus sign. Okay. So I'm not done. I still need a sub seven and a sub eight. So let's get a sub seven now. This will be a sub seven minus one over a sub seven minus two. Oops, that doesn't quite look right. Plus a sub seven minus three. All right, so we are looking at a sub six over a sub five plus a sub four. All right, so a sub six was three, a sub five was two, and a sub four was one. So three halves plus one is five halves, and that's it, that's my answer, five halves, or you could have told me it was 2.5. 
So I'm going to keep on keeping track here. We've got a sub 7 is now 2.5, or I could say 5 halves. And if you, I'm going to scooch this back down just so you can see my running tally, right? I've got this, this list generated. All right, let me give myself a little bit more space so that I can continue my list. All right, so at this point, I know a sub 7. I'll rewrite it as the fraction. You could write 5 halves or 2.5, but I'm getting close. All I need now is a sub 8. So since I can't keep the, the work for a sub 8 in line with the, in the formula in the same screen, I'm just going to talk about this. This would become a sub 8. 8 minus 1 would be 7, 8 minus 2 would be 6, and 8 minus 3 would be 5. So I'm going to have a sub 7, a sub 6, and a sub 5, and we're going to go see what those numbers are. So let me scooch this back up so that we can go calculate a sub 8. All right, so if I go to do a sub 8, that would be a sub 8 minus 1 and ratio to a sub 8 minus 2 and I need to add on to it a sub 8 minus 3. So this is a sub 7 over a sub 6 plus a sub 5. All right, a sub 7 was 5 halves, a sub 6 was 3, and a sub 5 was 2. Now, if you want to do this by hand, go for it. I encourage it. Uh, I can see, let's see, on my calculator, if I was going to do this in my head, 5 halves divided by 3 is 5 sixths, 5 6 plus 2, well that's 5 6 plus 12 6, so, so I think my answer should be 17 6, but let me go ahead and confirm that. So I will take 5 halves, I will divide it by 3, I will add 2 to it, and I will math frac that and find out that we had 17 6. Alright, so there is the eighth term in my sequence. So if I want to write up my, my final answer, it said find the first eight terms of this sequence. So my first eight terms are 0, 1, 1, and then we had another 1, 2, 3, 5 halves, and then 17 sixths. All right, those are the first eight terms of my, my recursive sequence. All right. So with that, we're going to flip the page. I'm going to teach you about factorials, and that's going to finish off this section. All right? I'll see you in a few, gang. Bye.